Come on, come on, I see no changes. I wake up every morning and I ask myself, is life worth living? Should I blast myself? I'm tired of being poor and worse, I'm black. My stomach hurts, so I'm looking for a purse to snatch. Can't say the rest of the lyrics, but things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. I love Tupac. Hey everyone, welcome to The Reviewed. Here's my review for the movie, All Eyes On Me. Yes, this movie stars Demetra Ship Jr., Cat Graham, Lauren Cohen, and Jamal Willard. And this movie is directed by Benny Boom. This guy previously directed a movie called The Next Day Air, which was a piece of crap comedy. But now this is the biopic about Tupac Shakur, a movie that I think millions of people have been asking for. But now after you probably saw it, I bet no one's going to be asking for it after they see this movie, but yeah. This movie is the story and the life of Tupac Shakur, the hip-hop artist. And yes, after the amazing successes of a lot of great hip-hop movies like 8 Mile and Straight Outta Compton, I have a feeling they're going to probably make a lot of biopics about a lot of famous rap artists and stuff. And sometimes you'll get a great movie like 8 Mile or Straight Outta Compton. Or you'll just get an average movie like Notorious. Or you'll get a heaping pile of garbage like Gay, Gay Richard I Trying. This movie, All Eyes On Me, is not quite as bad as Gay Richard I Trying, but it's near that scale. It's on the same sort of scale as Gay Richard I Trying. It's not as good as Notorious, and it's not as bad as Gay Richard I Trying, but this movie's not good. Yes, All Eyes On Me is a utter disappointment. Yes, I never put it on like a top 10 most anticipated lists of the year or anything, but this movie was a ginormous disappointment, and it let me down. Like, I know the story of Tupac Shakur. I grew up with the music. Music of Tupac Shakur. I grew up with a lot of music, a lot of different types of music like rock music, R and B, reggae, or of course country and stuff. But yeah, I grew up with a little bit of hip hop as well. So I grew up with N.W.A. and Tupac and Troy's B.I.G. Eminem and stuff. But yeah, I really loved Tupac Shakur. I really loved his music. It really it spoke to a lot of people of different cultures, different races, different religions and stuff. And I think a lot of people could relate to Tupac's music. It wasn't all just gang violence but it was also stories about politics and love and life and stuff and yeah I really enjoyed Tupac's music and I was really curious to see them make a movie about him they made a documentary about him called Tupac Resurrection which was a very good documentary so I was really excited to see them make an actual biopic about his life and they just really didn't give it justice. They they crammed a lot of things in, and it didn't feel very cohesive. They skipped a lot of timelines and a lot of time jumps in this movie, and they just missed a lot of very important things in his life. And this movie also tries to treat Tupac Shakur like he was like the biggest saint, and he wasn't. And he knew that himself that he wasn't a huge saint as well. He did bad things like other people did, but this movie likes to think he was like some sort of Jesus Christ and stuff that I didn't really care for. For that and at times this movie was completely inaccurate about his life and, and, and in some things that happened in this movie I'm like I don't really think that really happened and this movie tries to be as melodramatic and as sappy and this to be very manipulative at times and I really didn't care for that there was some positives about this movie like the actor Demetrius uh, Demetrius Ship Jr. who plays the role of Tupac he does a very good job he doesn't have a lot to work with he has not a very good script to work with and I don't think a very good director to work with as well so he put so he put a lot of his hands in the script and is a very bad director and that's why the movie came off really sloppily executed and not very well handled and yeah I don't blame this actor this actor actually looks very much like Tupac and he did do a pretty decent job. I thought he gave an okay performance, and I thought it was fine. If this movie had a better screenplay and a better director, I think this actor could have done a fantastic job, but again, he probably couldn't show his true acting chops in this movie because of the poor direction stuff, and yeah. You also have Cat Graham in this movie from The Vampire Diaries. She's mediocre. You also have Lauren Cohen from Walking Dead. She's mediocre. And you also have uh, Jamal Willard, who played Notorious B.I.G. in Notorious. That was pretty cool. I loved seeing the connection of the movies and stuff, and seeing him as Biggie Smalls in this movie. It, he was fine. I did enjoy that. That part of the movie, I did really like. And I, I thought that was pretty cool and stuff. And there were moments in this movie that I'm like, okay, that was cool. That was interesting. But then the movie just glosses over it and goes into the more melodramatic stuff, the more sappy stuff, the more manipulative stuff. And I really hated that. 
the stuff that I wanted them to talk about, they really didn't go into details about that, which I hated. That's why a lot of people love Straight Outta Compton, because Straight Outta Compton showed the stories that we wanted to know. That's like, it's like making a Straight Outta Compton movie and they didn't talk about the War of the Bloods and the Crips. Or they didn't talk about Easy es death and stuff. Those are important issues. They talk about a couple important issues in All, All Eyes on Me, but they leave out a lot of things, which was utter disappointment. I'm like, wait a minute, what? Why didn't they go into de details with that? That's a major importance in Tupac's life, but whatever. Yeah, just I know uh, some people might think I'm nitpicking. I'm really not. This movie not, was not well directed. It was not well written either, and it was so clunky and horribly executed. They jump through different timelines, and just, it doesn't make sense. They have flashbacks that don't make sense. They feel very abrupt and very off and stuff. And the entire supporting cast, other than Jamal Willard, was very mediocre. And, like, there's two good actors, but, again, they're not directed properly, but they at least give good performances. But I wanted something more. I wanted something very deep and very meaningful. I wanted them to showcase a very realistic story of Tupac. And they did not. They really Hollywoodized his life. They showed a lot of stuff that just wasn't needed. They showed a lot of stuff that was completely inaccurate. And yeah, I just found this movie completely disappointing. I really didn't care for this movie. I left the theater really angry. And plus, this movie is two and a half hours long. So it was really long. I really felt the length for this film. And yeah, I really didn't care for this movie. I had a lot of issues with it. I was really angry. I think if you're a Tupac fan and you know the life of Tupac, I think you're going to hate this movie. I think you're going to get really pissed off and not like it. This movie is no 8 Mile or Strata Compton. This is just a very Hollywoodized version of Tupac's life with lots of sappy melodrama and a lot of scenes that will manipulate its audiences. And I really didn't care for this movie. The writing wasn't good. The direction wasn't good. It was clunky, horribly executed. It had a very, had a very bland supporting cast. There's so many scenes that just added up to nothing and just I, I just felt like they just grabbed snippets of his life and they just put it in this movie and just, it wasn't well done it wasn't well handled and yeah I found this movie a ginormous disappointment and yeah I can even call it it is a bad movie it is very bad so yeah on a scale of 1 to 10 I'm gonna give the movie All Eyes on Me a 4.7 out of 10 so yeah this movie's not good it's really not good I know some people are really excited for this movie honestly don't pay money to see this movie. If you desperately want to watch it, wait for the Netflix or the Red Box or whatever. Watch it then. But yeah, don't pay money to see this movie. It's very long and it'll just disappoint you by the end. So yeah, go see something else. So yeah, that was my review for the movie All Eyes On Me. So yeah, in the comment section below, please tell me what is your favorite movie about a hip-hop artist or hip-hop group? Favorite movie based off a hip-hop artist or a hip-hop group? My favorite, Eight Miles Close, but Straight Outta Compton is still my favorite. But what is your favorite? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.